In this video, I'm going to give you a bit of an insight into what's involved with prototyping and testing for 6G mobile communications at the new frequency band of 28 gigahertz. And you can see it's quite involved. There's a lot of equipment that I've got here on the table. So I'm going to take you through that equipment quickly, one by one, show you the communication ch chain for the physical layer. And one of the first things to say is you're going to see lots of cables. Half of those cables are actually power supplies for each of the different components that we need to put together to make this communication link. So that's a logistical challenge just in itself, getting everything uh, in place and powered up. Uh, the other cables, mainly blue cables, are at the intermediate frequency and radio frequency. So we're going to track them through now. And it all starts with this computer over here, which is running the baseband modulation at the transmitter. Uh, it's also running it for the receiver as well, and we'll see the loop is going to come back to there. But this is the QAM constellation for 6QAM, and that is coming out of the laptop you, uh, from this connection here and going into the back here of this software-defined radio. And this is a USRP, software-defined radio. And coming out of the blue cable on the left here is the transmitter signal at 2.4 gigahertz, which is what we set in the software on the laptop. And we can follow that cable along here, and we can see that that is going into this component here, and this is the mixer. The other blue cable coming into that mixer is coming from the local oscillator. Now that local oscillator in this setup is actually supplying the same signal to the receiver, which is over here, and we'll see that later. Um, for a test bed and for prototyping, uh, that's an easy thing. It means you don't have to worry about having automatic frequency synchronization and uh, all of the other aspects of synchronization. Okay, so this is the mixer. It's got the IF signal coming in, the 16 QAM, and it's mixing it up to the carrier frequency in the millimeter wave. And out from the blue cable there is going into this transmitter. And this device here is a four channel transmitter. And both the transmitter and the mixer are from TMY Tech. This one is a four channel beamformer. Uh, there's four channels horizontally. You can see the four connectors and the vertical direction is supplying more uh, transmitting elements along each of those four channels. So each channel has four vertical uh, elements. And if I look on the back of this, you can see those connections there on that transmitter. So we're forming a beam with our four channels, and that's going through the air over this air link to this receiver antenna here. So we've got to have a receiver antenna, and it's connected to the amplifier there, which has its own power supply with the red and black uh, connectors, and out of the amplifier is going into the mixer at the down converter at the receiver. And so as we saw before, that's being fed by the local oscillator and the output is coming on this blue cable here and we're feeding it back into a different channel on the software defined radio. That's then going back out through the cable, of course, back to this computer. And then we're looking at the receiver constellation over here. And as you can see, if I put my hand in the way, then it disrupts the signal and we lose the tracking on the 16 QAM. And so this has completed the loop of our communication system. And the other component to take note of is this laptop over here, which is running the beamformer. So the settings here are for the different four channels on the beamformer, and we can set them to do electronic beam steering of our transmit beamformer. So now that we have all the equipment set up and running, we can do all sorts of tests. We can change the modulation format. We can move and rotate the transmit antenna. We can do all of the uh, adjustments for electronic beam steering. Uh, we can explore what happens when you put uh, blockages in front of the channel uh, and all sorts of things to test your communication link at these millimeter wave frequencies, which are important frequencies for the future 6G mobile communications. So if you found this video helpful, give the video a like, helps others to find it. 
Of course, subscribe to the channel for more videos. That helps the channel as well. In the description below, you'll find a number of videos listed, including the beamforming video I mentioned before that uses this equipment, plus other videos, including calibration using the equipment. And you'll also find a link to a website that has a full categorized listing of all the videos on the channel.